family and youtubers i hope you can see me in this video i'll probably need to get my niece to edit it for me so you guys can see me i'm doing something kind of crazy today no farming videos yet i'm up early this morning to kayak from the percy priest dam on the stones river all the way down to the cumberland and down to uh shelby bottoms park that's like 18 or 20 miles, something like that. And uh, I've been wanting to do it for a long time, and so now I finally am. I'm down here at five in the morning, and the sun is not up yet, but I'm starting to get ambient light. And that flashing night is not an ambulance or police. That is the release warning for the J. Percy Priest Dam. The good thing about that is it means I'll have some current and I can get the Percy push to help me get started, and hopefully cut this trip, and make it a little bit shorter. We'll see if I make it. Hey guys, so I left Percy Priest about 45 minutes ago and I'm a little more than halfway to the Cumberland at this point. And I've been seeing these cranes also, by the way, um, in the moonlight, when you can't see in the morning uh, on the river, cranes sound a lot like pterodactyls, and they look like them too. And they scared me to death. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> So I have officially made it to the Cumberland River. Probably, I stopped a couple times to take video and uh, launch and land the drone, but it took me about an hour and 50 minutes to get from the dam to here. Um, probably could have done it in an hour and a half, definitely an hour and 45. I think I probably spent about 10 minutes on videos and other things, but now I'm in the sun. <laughs> I was in the shade even after the sun came up on the Stones River, but now I'm in the sun. A couple of fishermen came out here on a boat that they launched at a ramp that I just passed, but I am gonna keep on trekking and head towards Shelby Bottoms. There's a plane on top of that little shed on the side of the cliff, <laughs> which is pretty cool since there's been planes flying over this whole time. So I've been on the Cumberland for about 20 minutes I'm right at the clubhouse at Gaylord Springs. This golf course is right there. You can't see them in the video probably, but there are so many gnats right now. It's kind of bonkers. Just constant. It's gross. So I've seen a couple of docks northbound on the Cumberland here, but this is the first one. And that's kind of cool. There's a pontoon boat up there. And it looks like it's got like a little trolley system that lets it all the way down into the water here. I kind of like that. Power line, that power pole has a big bird nest up there. And I'm wondering if that's some kind of eagle or something on it. I can't really see it. With and I see there's a little park up here. It's kind of cool, some picnic tables and stuff. This is called Lock 2 Park. And apparently right up here somewhere is a Lock 2 boat ramp. I wonder what that is. starting to feel it in my arms uh, taking more breaks but also taking more pictures because there's cool stuff to see and right now I'm going under Briley Parkway and headed back south towards Opry Mills and then uh, Shelby Bottoms
Hey, James Tanton. We need to talk to these guys. <laughs> I find that boat to be generally cooler than the last one that I saw. <laughs> My first time seeing it from the water. Pretty cool. That's the General Jackson and it's uh, docked here at the Opry Mills Mall. Next up on the tour is the pedestrian bridge that goes from the Two Rivers Park on that side to Shelby Bottom Park on this side. Well, Shelby Bottoms park is probably another mile or so up the river to the boat ramp, maybe a little bit more, but I'm almost there. I am almost there and right as I'm coming up uh, you can finally see and you know you're in Nashville when there's a floating party saloon going by Woo! <laughs> oh man they let me down so I made it back to where I started from. Sandy picked me up at Shelby Bottom Park uh, in the truck with the girls and brought me back over here. She's got the van and I've got the truck now. I started out at 5 a.m. this morning and uh, rode from here all the way down Stones River to where it meets the Cumberland River and uh, then rode the Cumberland River all the way up around north and back down to Shelby Bottoms Park, which is just right there in uh, near East Nashville. And uh, I just did it on a whim. I didn't do any preparation or anything. I've been wanting to do it for years and I keep putting it off and putting it off. And I finally decided to do it and uh, went for it. Honestly, I Googled it last night and it looked like it was 20 miles or something like that. And like the internet was saying that that ought to take like 10 hours, but I figured if the dam was spilling like it is right now, that might help me go a little faster. But you know, I was hoping it would be six or seven hours. So with the river flowing as fast as it is, it was pretty good. Uh, it helped a lot. The Percy push got me down to five hours basically. It, it was like five hours and nine minutes or something like that, but I spent like 30 minutes uh, near Opry Mills by the General Jackson Riverboat because I ran out of space on my phone for video, so I had to transfer some video over to an SD card so that I could video at the end. Um, so hopefully I have a good video that you guys just watched, and stay tuned, I'm gonna have a lot of uh, harvest videos hopefully coming this year so stay tuned for that subscribe if you haven't like this video leave a comment and uh, I don't know let me know what you think or what I should do next bye guys